Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're in the 319 PTU for Star Citizen. It is May 8th as I'm recording this. And I'm opening the PTU and uh, selecting my spawn location as usual. And what do you know? The game asked me a question. Play the tutorial? Well, yes, I will play the tutorial. Thank you. Let's see what they've got. Okay, there it is. It's really small. <laughs> Welcome to Star Citizen. This tutorial will walk you through your first steps toward life among the stars in the 30th century. To exit from the bed or seating, press Y. Oh. Okay. I always just use space, but uh, there you go. Shows you how to look around. Okay, this is very, very basic, which is, you know, that's good. Moby Glass. Press F1 to access your Moby Glass, and from the bottom row of icons, select the Journal app. Okay. Wait, I, I never actually opened the journal. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to the verse. 930 years into the future, your man is spread across the world. Many humans spend their lives never leaving their homeworld. There are those who choose to travel around the... Currently, you're in Area 18 on Arcorb, the third planet in the standard system, a great distance from humanity's origins in the solar system. The four planets in the system are owned by mega corporations who each purchase the planet. A little bit of lore here. And some helpful geography. I guess it's not geography, it's like cosmography, I don't know. Okay. Now what? Use the interaction mode, F, and drink the water in your hab. Okay. Oh, it starts you out without uh, a full belly. Looks like they also start you out without a helmet, apparently. It also wants me to eat a burrito. What do I do with the water bottle? It doesn't tell me what to do with the water bottle. Maybe it just wants me to grab the bottle. Or I mean the burrito. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, oh, the burrito is gone. <laughs> and I've got a water bowl in my hand. Use interaction mode F to open the Habs exit. Once you leave, you will not be able to return. To quickly use an item's main interaction while near this item, simply press F. Uh, well, I still have a water bottle here that I cannot interact with, so I guess we just have that now. Okay, use interaction mode F to call the elevator. I mean, this is good. This is good. Enter the elevator and use interaction mode F to select ground floor on the interior elevator controls. It won't let me drop the water bottle. Uh, and I'm just gonna do what it says for now, I mean. I don't know why they didn't include getting rid of the, the water bottle. I also, my burrito just disappeared, so I'm very hungry right now. Objective complete. All right, now what? View the area map. How do I view the area map? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, there it is. I can't go too close. Fill with signs to while navigating B. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, now, okay. Now it's telling me to sprint. You can crouch and jump by pressing spacebar. Okay. So screw the map. We'll go over here instead. Oh, nice. Going into Cubby Blast. To survive in the vacuum of space and other harsh environments, be sure to equip your undersuit and helmet. How do I do that? It's it's wanting me to shop at the at the kiosk. All at all three at the same time. But it also wants me to equip my helmet. It also doesn't tell me how to close chat, but I already know how to do that, luckily for me. Use interaction mode F to browse shopping kiosks or buy- Oh, it's gone. Objective complete! Use shopping kiosks, okay. I mean, I guess that does get the job done. I guess. Head to City Flight Transit Terminal. It's not telling me how to open my inventory. Luckily, I already know how to do it. Wow, that's actually kind of a cool set of armor that they give you for the tutorial. It doesn't look like I actually have a helmet. So they do they not, they just expect you to know that you have to buy a helmet, I guess. All right, so I'm figuring out by myself how to get a helmet on, which is not good for the tutorial, but it did get us to the terminal. So now we'll follow this. Okay, I like how it's updating in rather short intervals. That's helpful for new people. I, I do wish that their little icon was a little bit more obvious. Like, if I'm just looking here, where is the objective icon? It's very hard to see, especially in such a busy environment as Area 18. But it's something. 
you know, which is a lot more than they had before. Now look at this guy. Whoa. He's the guy, bro. Anybody who's seen Spy Kids 3 gets that. Damn, that's some gold armor. I wonder if they put those guys there as NPCs just to, like, excite the new players, you know? Like, oh, that guy's an alien. Oh, that guy's gold. Get in the train. Okay. Objective complete. Nice. Your exit's coming up. Get off your shuttle at the next stop to reach the spaceport. <sighs> like, if this was a professional tutorial, right? You would have to press, like, a, a continue button, right? When you're ready to go to the next step. It's going a little fast, I think, for most new players in the game. Uh, it's not bad. Like, the stuff they're having you do, I and I completely agree with with that they're taking us to uh, Baijin Point, Baijini Point or whatever, uh, to get up there and, and hopefully set our spawn up there. But like, it would also be nice to have a, you know, a list of things that you're going to do. Like, first, we're going to eat some food. Then we're going to buy a helmet. Then we're going to go to the spaceport. Then we're going to go to Baijin Point. Then we're going to, you know, I mean, they told us informally in the form of a uh, that little journal letter. But it didn't tell us a, an explicit list. Okay, new objective, locate a fleet manager terminal. Boom, nice. I love the icons. Very helpful. Okay, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> not exactly a straight shot, which is fine. You know, that's fine. I, I don't think that if you're going to get into Star Citizen, you can't expect to be babied. And... You know, if you're going to take a little wrong turn and go, oh, that's not the way, then you should, that's fine, man. That's fine. Because if you don't have the patience to uh, retrace 10 steps that you made a wrong turn, you're not going to last in this game whatsoever. You know, as much as I'd love for everybody uh, always ever to be able to play this game and love it, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Gotta have the patience. Okay. Welcome. I'm interacting with the terminal. Aerospace organization procedure able to the tutorial ship has been temporarily assigned to you. Complete the tutorial to access your vehicles. Okay. Oh, and we got the Anvil Pisces. Frickin' love this thing, man. This was my rental ship when I joined the game back in Invictus Week a year ago. And I've never stopped loving it. It really doesn't explain much. It doesn't explain delivery time, and it doesn't explain the whole process of claiming and all that stuff, which maybe you don't want it to. Maybe you don't want to overwhelm. Uh, hangar one, location. ship will be waiting. Okay, retrieve tutorial ship. Please it also doesn't tell you exactly like, press these buttons, but again, take elevator. I'm walking over here automatically. I'm trying to not get ahead of the tutorial. Oh, look at these. That's cool. Observe your ship marker on your HUD to review the hangar where it's currently stored. Use the spaceport hangar elevators to reach the appropriate hangar. Okay. Okay, hangar one. All right. Approach the ship and use the interaction mode to lower the ramp. Don't forget to close the ramp behind you. I do kind of wonder, okay. Just spitballing here. Does the tutorial process kind of take the magic out of the discovery of the game? I'm just asking because that was a big thing for me when I first got to my hangar and saw my Avenger Titan. You know, that was a big moment for me. That was like a big dramatic start to the game. Like I finally got there and figured out how to get there and get to my ship. Maybe it doesn't. But for me, I'm kind of glad that I didn't have a tutorial when I started this game. Press R to system flight ready. Okay. Contact air traffic control. Left alt in to request permission to take off and open the hangar doors. Nice. Love that there's a freaking keybind for this now. Automatically. Okay, it's telling us this pretty quick. Depending on the hangar, the doors can be above your head. Take a look around while seated. Do a send, hold space bar. Descend, hold left control. To aim your ship, use the axis, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it, it, it ignores basically all your custom settings. Move your ship. Yay, okay. Doesn't tell you fly out of the hangar. That's fine. I mean, I guess it's obvious. Not necessarily, but it can be obvious, I guess. It's not telling me what to do now, either. It also doesn't tell me about my 
velocity limiter. Press in to retract landing gear. Okay, nice. Follow the checkpoints out of area 18. All right, checkpoints. Look at these clouds, by the way. Really nice. There we go. Now it's telling me about my maximum flight speed. I guess they don't want to tell you that while you're in your hangar, because you might die. Why is it telling me to go this way? Cruise control. Okay, yeah, we know cruise control. Okay. Gauge your afterburners. Okay, this is a good, like, basics of flight little thing. Teaching you an atmosphere is kind of rough, especially with the Pisces, but... My ship looks damaged. Why is that? Objective complete. All right. To travel greater distances, next align with your destination. If your drive is fully spooled, hold to travel. All right. Okay, it has two quantum travel options for a genie point, which is very stupid for a, uh, a tutorial. Why is it being confusing like that? Nice. All right. Use quantum travel to reach by genie point. I already did that. You're going to get me to try to do it again. It says I can't. But you said use quantum travel, but I can't. After exiting. Okay, once you're near the station, request to land. Alt in. Boom. People are going to be spamming this, so I'm going to do it again and see what happens. Because if I was new, I would definitely not be waiting this long. Wow, look how you can see the city down there from here. That's cool. Okay, it worked the second time. Oh, we have like new little landing areas down here. It should probably tell you to put your speed limiter back on for this section. Also, don't judge my flying, all right? I'm on mouse and keyboard right now and not my stick because it doesn't let you rebind for the tutorial, I don't think, which is a good thing, probably. Gently lower yourself using left control. I've never used auto land. Congratulations on testing down safely. Exit the pilot seat. Hold Y. Shouldn't I turn off the ship first? I'm going to do it, even though you're not telling me to. I should probably turn off the ship. That way it doesn't spawn in the air. That should that should probably be in the tutorial. Take the elevator to access the station lobby. All right. Where's the elevator at? Like, what happened to my ship, dude? <laughs> I never hit it. All right, I'm in the station lobby. Use any of the terminals to store the tutorial ship and complete the tutorial. Once completed, you'll be able to access your own ships from any fleet manager terminal. Okay. Welcome. It's not going to gonna tell me to uh, system. store. It's not going to tell me to set my spawn point here. It, it probably should do that, right? And that's what I would do. Tutorial complete. First flight. All right. Nice. Oh, you get awarded 15 grand for doing a tutorial. Interesting. I'll take it. <laughs> now we have these kind of hints here. I always think it's Operator Drewski when I hear that announce announcer guy. All right, I like that there's hints for the new the newbies in the in the right here. That's that's kind of nice. It's kind of reactive too. It's kind of uh, they're like smart hints. It's wherever whatever I'm doing currently. It's it's actually giving me relevant information, which is great. But I'm obviously going to turn that off for myself. Okay, well that's the tutorial that they have in 319 PTU. Nice jacket. I'm gonna give it... Man, that's hard. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Is that too... is that too high? That's not too high, right? I mean, they told you all the stuff that you basically need to know. I'm, I'm gonna dock it a point for not telling me to put my helmet on. You know, and you gotta also dock it a point for the bugs, like my burrito disappearing, which is the worst thing that could ever happen to a person in the universe, IRL, and in-game. Like, if your burrito is just gone, and you had it in your hand, and you were about to consume it, I, I just can't think of anything more tragic uh, than that. And, and that actually has happened to me, and it, it, I've never been more um, aggravated in my entire life. But other than that, it kind of did tell us exactly what we needed to do to get up here. Now we have no idea what to do, obviously, but at least we have the basics to get going. And I don't think uh, that a tutorial should be too um, uh, hand-holding, you know, especially for this game. You've got to figure it out, man. You've just got to. And plus, there's all the YouTube resources. Not that, that we should take that into consideration. Uh, but I also have to dock at a third point for the visibility of the objective indicator on your HUD. 
it's super small. It's not very bright. It should probably be yellow or something, you know, green. But again, it is there and it does the job. And and I I would worry if the if the tutorial did hold your hand too much. You know, if, if you've got a a bright yellow marker telling you where to go in the tutorial and you don't have that after the tutorial, are you going to feel kind of lost? Like maybe you would. So maybe it's good it's not that helpful. <laughs> maybe the tutorial is better for it not being that helpful <laughs> because because it's going to prepare you for the game a little better. So 7 out of 10, it's 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 good. I like it. It does the job, but not too much, which is which is perfect. <laughs> so good job, CIG, good job. Uh, hopefully uh, new players don't have to pop in gen chat as much and get told to alt F4 to get out of their ship. So it's a win, definitely. All right, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I'll see you later.